Hello everyone, I am Nand Kumar. I have 9 years of experience in information security. Uh, right now my motive behind creating such a video is to is for helping the beginners to have two year experience to understand what what are we talking about information protection. What do you, what do you mean by protecting information? What are the key terms that we use like encryption? Uh, what are the key things like uh, RAID? Uh, physical and environmental security, identity and access management. So just to give you a glimpse of all that, we will be talking about information protection in general on our upcoming videos. For that, uh, this is my first video. So I'm not sure about the quality of the video that uh, we are going to present in front of you. So uh, please feel free to provide your comments and your suggestion, which we would be taking into consideration while going with the upcoming videos now let's talk about what is information protection before we jump into information protection let's break the word into two what is information simple dictionary meaning to that information means meaningful data which has a value right what do you mean by meaningful data when does a data becomes a meaningful when someone comes and says John 20th of July 1983 and he says 25th of April 2011 does not make any sense to anyone but however when someone comes and says a John's birthday is on 20th of July 1983 and he joined uh, the company XYZ on 25th of April 2011 now it becomes a complete information now you got the understanding between what is data what is information right so when we give a meaning to a data it becomes information and we protect information depending upon the value right so you will never protect a uh, thousand rupees equivalent to where 1 lakh rupees. You put various controls and various mechanisms in protecting values differently, right? Same thing goes with information. So when we say information, information is a meaningful data which has a value. Now let's talk about information protection. What does information protection stand for? It talks about three main things. Confidentiality, integrity and availability. What is confidentiality? Many of them have used words like hey, this information is between me and you. It's a top secret, right? That's called confidentiality. We share information only with authorized people. That's called confidentiality. Sharing of information with authorized users is called confidentiality. Now, talking about integrity, what is integrity? complete and accuracy of an information those are the two keywords which will define integrity of an information complete and accurate if the information that you receive is not complete if it is incomplete partially you have received it you will not understand the complete meaning of that particular information so you can't say that the information that i received is has the integrity in it right or if someone has modified the information during the transmit of that particular information to you. So uh, consider you send an email to a particular person or you ping a particular person and the information goes to a third person and he changes it and the destination person receives in a different way. Then the, the, the information that you send was being modified or altered, right? So the information doesn't have that integrity. Now, when we we will be talking about avail, availability as well. What is availability? How many of them have booked Tatkal tickets? IRCTC Tatkal tickets at 10 o'clock. What happens normally? You have a username and a password. You are authorized to book a ticket. Right? But at the time, you are not able to book the ticket because the site 
is not loading up on our machine right so when we are protecting information when we are putting adequate controls to make sure that the authorized people are only getting the information you have to make sure that the authorized person is able to see whatever we are protecting as well so availability also comes as a major plays a major role when we talk about information protection okay so these are the three main criteria that we would be talking about when we say someone when someone comes and says you oh, we need to protect information we will be talking about confidentiality we will be talking about integrity we will be talking about availability as well there are some based upon different criteria we would be having different controls which can do these functionalities like protect how to protect information what are the different controls that comes for protecting information for a confidentiality integrity and availability so we will be talking about those controls like encryption we will be talking about the backup strategies raid mechanisms we will be talking about social engineering what are different classifications for information protection because some companies might classify information into various categories for their uh, for in order to help them uh, help them protect those information so we will be talking about all those on our upcoming videos so this is a trial version that we have done right now and uh, we would look forward for you to provide your valuable comments and suggestions which we will make sure that those are being taken into consideration while we do the upcoming videos thanks for listening to this video have a great day bye bye